Okay, so when you are talking to a camera and you think it's on and it's not, that is so annoying. And then when you think it's off and it's on, and then you realize you just recorded 20 minutes of you running around the kitchen doing a lot of things that you don't need to see on camera because it's like, you know, you know what happens. You're running here, you're grabbing a greedy, you pile everything. So anyways, my name is Tony. I'm gonna keep you diet. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my new and my steady Thank you so much for being here. Again, I will mention, as I have in my last videos, 49% of my subscribers, are, of my video viewers, are not subscribers. So please hit that subscribe and watch my video. I know sometimes they're long, but watch them to the end so I, can, I need to watch hours. I did not know. It's 4,000 watch hours. I was thinking 4,000 watch minutes. Like I'm like, I'm killing it. No, girl. You are not killing anything. You're killing yourself thinking that you got 4,000 watch minutes. Yeah, oh, I got a lot more than 4,000 watch minutes. <laughs> I have 590 watch hours, so I need another 3,500 watch hours. That's a lot, but I'm halfway there with my subscriber count, which is awesome, and I'm so grateful to have you here, and thank you all of the new subscribers. I appreciate you being here. I hope you stick around. Anyways, so, what are we doing today? We did the marathon yesterday. So I, as I mentioned probably several times, if you watch that video, it is uploading as we speak, um, that I have one non sausage eating employee, but she loves seafood and no one else in the office does. I don't, Itza doesn't and neither does Mary. So the rest of us are non seafood. So for her to get a seafood dish is a treat. So as you've ever ordered takeout Chinese, you get broccoli and beef, chicken and beef, we're doing, I mean, broccoli and beef, chick, broccoli chicken, broccoli beef. I'm doing shrimp beef. I mean, shrimp beef, shrimp broccoli with an Asian flair. So like the Asian broccoli, the version of shrimp and broccoli from the Chinese takeout. We're gonna use a lot of little ingredients, not a lot of anything, but a little of a lot. A little of a lot of things and not a lot of the little things, okay? So we're gonna use some sesame oil. We're gonna use some coconut ominos. We're gonna use some gluten-free tamari sauce. We're gonna use some rice wine vinegar. And just a little, cause she doesn't like pica, of this um, chili paste. Just a tad, cause to give it that flavor. But I'm also gonna use the help of a pantry ingredient that is not exactly, cause we're pretty lazy, easy keto. But we're gonna use, you know how it has that brown sauce? cannot replicate for any reason or however we're gonna use this some aju mix and two cups of water and we have what I have here to use is some this is frozen shrimp this is fully cooked cocktail shrimp they're deveined and tailed and all the things and I have them completely rock frozen and we're going to the ninja foodie that fixes things always. So I have a bag of frozen broccoli and well, part of a bag because I used it in the fat kid broccoli yesterday. Go watch the video. Anyways, and we have the shrimp and I have all the seasonings and this little pack and we're about to make some magic. Let's make some magic. Really quick too. Okay, here's the foodie. We're going in with our big brick of shrimp, which is, you know, been out of the freezer just for a minute and it wasn't the deep freeze so it's fro it's frozener I was gonna say it's frozener it's more frozen than if it was just in the regular freezer we're going in with the rest of this broccoli sauce we are really gonna dump and run and for real like okay so we have about a cup and a half of water and guys we are not sticking to any kind of rules here okay so we are just gonna go in with this Aju mix to make our gravy. What is that? We have some coconut aminos here. And I am, we are eyeballing this tonight. Let's call it dump and run. We are gonna get some of that in there. We're not gonna go as heavy with this tamari. It's really strong. So not as much of that. Rice wine vinegar. Okay, well, let's just break some stuff. That's how we do things around here. Okay, my measuring cup full. 
of some rice wine vinegar. She's not a big vinegar fan. I'm going to add this at the end because it is a strong flavor, but it will cook away. So we're not going to put that in yet. We are going to get ourselves a scoop of this pre-minced garlic. Grab the first utensil and we're going to get that in there. And then we are going to add a tad of this Eh, one more tad of this chili. Really, Tony? Wow, okay. So yeah, that's what happens when I'm just doing a dump and run. All right, so let's give this a zhuzh around. And we need a silicone, something or the other. So we're just gonna kinda mix this all up move things around as much as we can with whatever's not frozen and we're literally going to put this on pressure for like two minutes so it's gonna it's up these these shrimp these cocktail shrimp are fully cooked so all of this stuff is cooked it we just want all the flavors to marry together so we're going to put our pressure lid on here and this i only use a, a cup and a half of liquid because this is going to melt and have some more liquid in it so we're going to put our pressure lid on here love our ninja foodie it is a best kitchen we're gonna lock we're gonna pressure on high and we're going for two minutes so that's gonna make some noise you know getting all happy over here but i am going to clean up my mess and get ready to have a taste the shrimp because <laughs> i don't like shrimp but i'll taste the broccoli and he doesn't like broccoli so we're a hot mess over here Anyways, this is going to be the quickest video ever because this is all I'm cooking today. Yes. 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 And I, amen. Okay. See you back in a minute. Hey guys. Look at this. If you could smell this, this smells like Chinese takeout for real. Like for absolutely real. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn it off and we're going to turn on your saute and we are going to reduce down all of this liquid that's in here because that is not thick. And it's not going to be delicious, but while we're here, we're going to add just a little tiny splash of sesame oil. That's going to make it delicious. And then I may even close the air fryer lid. It just depends if we can get, oh, if we turn it back on, it might be better. Okay. So we're going to like reduce down the sauce and let all this cook together. The broccoli is still a little bit hard of course these shrimps were already cooked it's not going to do any damage but we need to reduce the liquid so we're going to let this hang out and get bubbly and delicious and uh christina that's your lunch tomorrow better watch my video or you're not eating <laughs> anyways she knows i love her um so it's all in good fun but at the end of the day her her stepson alex is going off to college tomorrow isn't that exciting? He got a last minute acceptance letter and he is going to Michigan. And she is torn, like happy, joyful, grateful, but at the end of the day, scary mom thing to let your brand new 18 year old just graduated from high school to go out states and states and states away and make their own life. So it is a little scary, but it's all in good parental factor that you have to experience these things your kids have to grow up and go on and who are you telling because when my daughter like got so we have this saying I've told her since she was little and I'm kind of talking but listen so I told her you have to graduate high school before you get married and then you have to be married before you have kids and then she did graduate from high school six months later got married six months later got pregnant I said, that's not what I meant. She said, you know what? You should have laid out the instructions just a little more in detail because I did them in order, just like you asked. Okay, so yeah, that's what happened. So we're gonna keep on reducing this liquid down and get cook some of the liquid out of this on the high saute mode. And then we will see what we got because we are doing our Chinese broccoli and shrimp. It smells fabulous. I'm excited. I'm excited for Christina. She's gonna eat it tomorrow. I hate shrimp. Okay guys, look. Okay, so we're gonna 
so we're just gonna cook some more of the liquid out of here. It is a little pika, I'm kind of scared, but she's gonna be like, this is too pika. It's a little hot, um, but we're gonna cook it down. Maybe we'll add some sour cream. Help like tone down the spiciness. We'll see. Anyways, you know how I do it. The nose knows. The nose knows. All right, guys. Look, I'm red. I exfoliated. Ah, that things happen. Um, if I don't every day, when I put my makeup on, I look like I have ashy skin and it's bothering me. So I will be 50 years old. Like 50. Can I believe that? No, I can't. In okay, so it is. What is the date? September? What? October, November, November 7th. I will be 50 years old. Ooh, it's coming fast. So if I live to 100, my life is half over. Like, really? That's a lot to deal with. But I better have a bomb 50 year old birthday party. Alright, guys. Challenge. Challenge for those of you friends and family that are local. I need a bomb 50 year old birthday party. Beats over the hill, right? Hey guys, oh my gosh, like look at this. No, 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 like really, like we need to look at this. This is our broccoli shrimp with our sauce. This sauce, hoo -wee. like for absolutely real. Okay, all right, had to go. Look, a little bit of broccoli. I'm not a shrimp lover, but mm. Like that is delicious. Like I would put that on a boot leather. Mmm. That's so that is so good. Okay, so she's gonna have that with some collie rice. It is a tiny tad pika. I hope the rice tones it down. But yay! It is delicious. So like follow along with the bouncing ball. And make this recipe because it is delicious. I'll try to type it up. I have to go back and watch my videos because I cook with my nose and I don't cook with a recipe sometimes. Sometimes, unless it's someone else's. But this is good. It is delicious. Make it, take it. Thumbs up, subscribe, the bell, the things. And as I say and I always mean with all my heart, thank you so much.